Hi, James with the Endocrine Center. Today I want to talk to you about a question that we get asked all the time, which is how can I manage my thyroid nodules without having surgery? I'm going to talk about three main ways. One, observation. Two, minimally invasive procedures, including radiofrequency ablation. And then three, some medications. I want to start with a big caveat that I'm only talking about benign thyroid nodules. How we manage thyroid nodules that have a risk of malignancy or are cancerous are going to be the topic of a different video. So let's go into it. First, observation. Thyroid nodules themselves are extremely common. When we get to age 50, 50% 50 of the population will have a thyroid nodule. They are not dangerous to have. Most of them will not cause any problems. And once they've been proven to be benign on biopsy, we do not worry about them becoming cancerous. And so for many patients who have no symptoms, meaning that they don't feel any pressure in their neck, they don't have any trouble swallowing, they don't have to have any treatment, and you can simply follow along and get a thyroid ultrasound at regular intervals just to make sure that it's not growing and we don't have the wrong diagnosis. B, we can do minimally invasive procedures, which include radiofrequency ablation and thyroid artery embolization. In brief, radiofrequency ablation, or RFA, is when you come to the office and we insert a long needle into the thyroid nodule, very similar to a needle biopsy, but this needle is attached to a machine that heats the tip and it actually burns the thyroid bit by bit from the inside. We move the, nodule, the needle around until we've burned all of the thyroid and that will cause that thyroid nodule to scar down and shrink. Pretty much it'll go down to about 30% of its original size. It won't go all the way away. It'll become this little scar. And that process takes about six weeks total to start getting some shrinkage and up to six months before it's as to its final size. Similar to that, there's thyroid artery embolization, which is a newer technology that's a little bit experimental, which is where radiologists, not surgeons, insert catheters that go into your bloodstream and go to the arteries that feed the thyroid, and it blocks off parts of the blood supply to the thyroid. And because there's less blood supply, that thyroid will shrink down similarly to about 30% of where it started. It's a good way to get very large goiters or big thyroids to become down in size. Finally, there's some medications. Now there's not any magical medication that's really going to make thyroid nodules smaller, but many thyroid nodules are under the control of your body and its hormones, specifically a hormone called TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. When your body is deficient in thyroid hormone, it will naturally make more TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, to do what its name says, stimulate the thyroid to make more hormone. And so if you are deficient, your nodules are going to grow slightly faster because your body is telling them to grow faster. So in those patients, giving some thyroid hormone supplementation may actually slow down some of the growth, although even in some people who have very normal thyroid function, benign thyroid nodules will still grow a little bit. So that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, please visit our website for more information or check out our other videos. Again, I'm James with the Endocrine Center. Thanks for watching.